Well, uh, the future's looking bright for Ricky Lake with a brand new husband, a brand new talk show on the way, and she's sharing parts of her past for the very first time in a new memoir called Never Say Never. And she really never did say never. Here's the one and only Ricky Lake. Yeah. Finale of Dancing with the Stars, which let me just say, I missed you last night. Me too. Thank you, you very you much. You were one kidding. of my favorites. I appreciate the girl. She was, yeah. she was, she and Donald are the two that want to be there more than anybody, mm -hmm. more than I even wanted to be there. So thank you, girl. Well, yeah. the question I had, you, when you you did come here for the finale, and you looked amazing because you had lost so much weight. Yeah, How's it going? You look, that, no, look you look different. great. I'm a little bit. It's impossible to maintain that kind of, you know, seven days a week, six hours a day of dancing. You know. Yeah. Because you lost a lot of weight, too. What do you think of those skinny bitches posing in Allure magazine? <laughs> yeah, please, Ricky, tell us. I mean, I, I, I yes. You did a swimsuit one time, right? Didn't you I do the did. bathing I was on the cover of Us Weekly it was so in a bathing suit. though. I thought that was like a real moment. It was, it was amazing. I mean, it was shocking. When they brought, when they wheeled out the wardrobe for me to wear on the cover of this magazine, I said, you're kidding. <laughs> There's no way I'm putting, and they said, yeah, you are. And, you know, I'm not ever going to look like Maria Menounos. Right. You know, I'm not, I'm not built that way. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's nice when we can sort of honor women, real women. Not that they're not real women, but, you know. But it's different, like, nor, different you know, women. the average woman. Yeah. 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 But I'll never be posing naked in the Lore magazine, I promise you. Ricky, congratulations on uh, the you. wedding that Thank happened you. last Thank week. You. Married yes. a boyfriend named surprise. Kristen. Wedding. Went together 18 months. We were together a year and a half. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, we've been living together for over a year. He's, he is my soulmate. He's, you know, oh. I feel like at 42 years old, I finally, we were talking backstage, mm -hmm. you know, you know who you are when you turn 40. And I right. think, you know, I was ready for that right person to come into my life. I don't think I would have been open to it at 30. Yeah. So it's um, it's yeah. certainly a good oh, time we in my loved. life. We were talking we about did. it on Yes, the show. I heard you guys. I yeah. Tebow, you guys. So I see what you're saying. Is it eloping when you're in your 40s? Yes, I think it is. It's you not escaping that, parents. So yeah, it was just, you know, Dancing with the Stars was such an experience where I felt like I was a princess twice a week. I got to right. get all the attention and the accolades, and I didn't need that on my wedding day. I really wanted it to be about us, and it was exactly. really, really special. Yes. Milo and Owen are, what, 15 and 10 now? 15 and almost 11, almost yes. Almost 11. Now, how did they feel about the wedding? They, and did, they, they, did they go? Were they, they there? They didn't go to the wedding. It was it was Easter break. It was spring break, and, okay. and it was actually mm -hmm. Easter Sunday, and they were with their father, and we gave them, we invited them, but they, I think they were more concerned about what cake they were missing versus the ceremony. Yeah. So um, we celebrated with them, and they, you know, they've always felt like he's a stepfather to them anyway, so they, they're really happy for us. So yes. this fella came into your life, and all of a sudden, things took a big change for the, yes. for the better. Uh, yes, and I mean, in the process of writing this book, which was two years in the making, Mm -hmm. He didn't exist, and that's the reason I titled it right. Never Say Never. It wasn't after Justin Bieber's album, though I'm a fan. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, you can't help but sing the song. But um, no, really, three things. I said I would never do another talk show. I think I said it right here yeah. on your show. Right here on your I show. would never do Dancing with the Stars. I turned it down every season, and I said I would never get married again, and all and three look, things are happening. Did it all. It's like, all three things are happening. Yeah, eating crow. Talk show before we get to never say never. I was a big fan, and because I was in front of my TV going, Go Ricky, go Ricky, <laughs> go Ricky. you know. And you did this talk show at 20, 24 years old, it lasted 11 years. We loved it, and now you have another talk show. Congratulations! Thank so, you. what what's different? Is it will it be the same kind of format? No, or? I mean, I think I've changed, you know, through life experience. I'm now 43, I'm not 24 years old anymore. I think, um, it's the sort of ele elevated, evolved version of the Ricky Lake show. So, the prototype is more like the old Oprah show. If you remember, mm -hmm. Oprah before she became a billionaire she was in the audience she was one of us right, I mean yeah. that's the feeling like so Donahue used to do ex yeah. exactly yeah. I mean I grew up watching Donahue and I you know I, I think that's missing on TV I mean I love you guys and yeah. I love but I miss that platform and I feel like I have a lot more to say that's and I think great. I'll be better this time do around. there's a chapter in your book called I'll never date anybody famous I agree with that that's why Regis and I never made it <laughs> <laughs> but when you were here 
Yeah. On The View. Was it last time or the time before? Um, before? I don't recall. Oh, yeah. She, she met a guy the night before you did The View. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't name their names in the book for a reason. But, yes, I had two sort of interludes with some famous men. Ooh. Yes. Who are they? You won't tell us who they are. I don't want to say the names. You I can sort of use your know. mouth. You don't want to know. <laughs> you well, let's just say. Mr. Charisma and Mr. Sensitive Teen Heartthrob. Oh, yes. Oh. Mr. Guitar Hero, I think, also. So talk about him, so, then, if you won't say the name. How were they? It was just, just fascinating for me, because I feel like I'm the unfamous, famous person. Right. And I never I never really was drawn to, I mean, I love the fantasy of like being, going out with someone I had a crush on growing up. Um, I did get to go out with these people. It didn't come to fruition. I didn't, I didn't consummate you didn't the, the relationship. No, no not in uh, either case. And one, not even close. There was but, a, um, it was also oh, not You sound disappointed. No, I was waiting for a little no, dirty. No, 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 I don't have stories of sizes or anything like that. But, um, but no, it was just, it was, it was fascinating because it was at a time in my life when I'd lost a lot of weight yeah. and I was getting attention in yeah. a way that I'd never mm -hmm. experienced in my whole life. So I was very flattered and it was very titillating for me, but, um, ultimately I thought they made good stories for the book. Yeah. You know, I, I want to ask you about the book because you are so candid in it. I love how every chapter starts off with an I never. Um, but you talk about everything from your relationship with your mom to sexual abuse to marriage, divorce, love. Um, what was the most, out of the chapters, I think you're 43, right? Mm -hmm. What is For the me, most? Yeah, we what did was 43 most, chapters on, pur on purpose. That. Embrace that. Um, most challenging chapter or powerful one for you? I mean, it's really painful to write about my relationship with my mom and the mm -hmm. lack of a re relationship mm -hmm. I have. I mean, I think, you know, the sexual abuse I suffered as a child, all of it is, is really cathartic to kind of get in touch with of who I was at that time mm -hmm. and how far I've come. Um, it's, it was really a process and a journey to write this book. And I, for me, I feel like it's what I've done all along, which is I'm an open book yeah. and, um, you know, I own it all. And I think all the experiences, good and bad, have made me who I am today and gotten to me to the best place in is my there life. Is anything in the book you don't Thank want your you. sons to read before we go? I, you know... I mean, I know they're curious about the book. I'm going to encourage them to wait, but I, you know, because it's a lot about my sexuality, which I think is, you know, we're human. But mm -hmm. I want, and I want, if they do read it, I want to answer any questions they might have. But I'm, I'm encouraging them to wait to read it. But well, um, you know, well, it, everything about this book, you were so honest, and we love, and we love you, and we love it when you come I on. Love you were so guys. such an amazing woman. We want to thank Ricky Lake thank and members of our studio audience are going home with a copy of Never.